happenings around you and to make that easy for you ladies and gentlemen we present fresh light where we bring fresh newspaper headlines the limelight mondays to saturdays 8 30 a.m to 9 a.m on alia moye tv and radio watch like subscribe and make sure your notification is activated on our youtube channel you can also like and comment on our pages on facebook twitter and instagram at alia moye tv and radio TGIF, thank God it's Friday. It is a lovely Friday morning from this uh, angle. And welcome to Fresh Light, where we peruse different newspaper pages. We have The Punch, The Vanguard, The Nation, and The Sun newspaper. This is where we get, give you the top stories of the day and we also read to you headlines. My name is Riz Scott Suleiman. And I'm sure only motion. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Fresh Light on the Yamaha TV and Radio. Good morning. All right, on Fresh Light today, well, we get to look at the Nation newspaper, Vanguard, The Punch, and The Sun newspaper. I uh, will be kickstarting from the south, uh, from the eastern part of the country. I beg your pardon. So I will be taking the Daily Sun newspaper. On the Daily Sun newspaper, uh, Daily Sun newspaper front page, we have. Again, government abuse police patrol kill ASP inspector in Inugu. Uh, go after killers of your colleagues. I pop tells security agents. Uh, you can find this on page five of the Daily Sun newspaper. At the Sun book presentation, Abu Salami Atiku Obi Uzodima diplomat raise hope on new Nigeria. Ex uh, ex head of state says nations will emerge stronger from current challenge challenges. Nigeria's history crucial to its future. Uh, this is coming from Naya Kalu. You can also find this on page six on on the Daily Sun newspaper. Away from that, jubilation in Inugu as tribunal opposes Mbaz victory. We will appeal judgment, says LP PRP candidate, page twenty two capture this particular story on girl 78 we need you back tinobu tells citizens in u.s says frustration causes by past leadership uh, by past leadership page 26 captured this particular story sack of governor uh, military orders deployed to enforce curfew in kano uh, you can also find this on page 28 on the Daily Sun newspaper, Youth Empowerment, UBA Chair Elu Melu, commended by distinguished leaders. You can find this on page 25 on the Daily Sun newspaper. Picking the last story on the Daily Sun newspaper this morning, Wiki revokes OB, BUA, Nikitobi, others, Abuja lands. You can find this on page 27 of the daily sun newspaper all of these and many more stories you'll find on the daily sun newspaper this morning go into the details the first story on the daily sun newspaper this morning don't be afraid to invest in nigeria tinubu says at nigerian u.s business run table president bola Ben tinubu has assured potential investors in the united states not to be afraid to invest in nigeria nigeria saying and i quote you are free to take in your money taking your money and bring out your money I count on you to invest in Nigeria. He gave the assurance after he ran the closing bell at the world's second largest stock exchange, the National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotation 60, NASDAQ, in the United States. It is a real honor to, for me to be here. I am happy to bring Nigeria to your doorstep, and I am honored that we are here today with a bumble, the bubbling Nigerian stock market that will evolve. In the West Africa subregion, the greatest economy in Africa is Nigeria. There is an immense opportunity in Nigeria where you can invest your money without fear. Don't be afraid to invest in Nigeria, Tinubu says at Nigerian U.S. Business Roundtable, this Daily Sun newspaper. 
I was still on the Daily Sun newspaper and I'm picking my first story on the Daily Sun newspaper this morning at the Sun book launch Abdul Salami Abbas Governors Lawmakers Bimon Nations Wars. Former, former, former head of state Abdul Salami Abu Bakar, Speaker of the House of Representatives Fajuddin Abbas, Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State, members of the National Assemblies and top technocrats yesterday bemoaned the many wars be, uh, bevelling the country. They spoke in Abuja during the official launch of a book titled The Making of Modern Nigeria from Pre-Colonial Era to Date, published by The Sun. Abdul Salam is said in a few days the country will mark its 63rd independence anniversary, noting it that it had been 63 years of continuous efforts at making the country better and for Nigeria as a nation to achieve its full potential. The book, uh, the new book, is sequel to an earlier one published by the Sunday entitled The Golden Book to commemorate Nigeria's 50th independence anniversary in 2010 in the story of Nigerians joining to nationhood chronicling the chronicling the political cultural social and economic revolution of nigeria to read details of this you can pick daily sun newspaper this morning it has this headline at the sun book launch abdul salami abbas governors lawmakers bemoan nation's woes lastly on the nation and on, on this daily sun newspaper aid is appointment or an easy shift time Comment Sinobu VP Shesima. A shift channel of Ohanese in the worldwide Cardinal State Chapter, Manzi Chris Emeka Hoa, has commended President Bola Tinobu and the Vice President Alaji Kashim Shesima over the appointment of ADs to VP's office as approved by President Tinobu. Manzi Ohoa, who is the Vice President of Ohanese in the noted that the appointment was not only loyal but deserving especially those from the Southeast geopolitical zone, adding that it is meritorious and reassuring. In a statement on Friday, Ohadnese Shifchan specifically expressed satisfaction over the appointment of a public religion expert, Stanley Kisley Ngocha, as Senior Special Advisor, Senior Special Assistant, SSA, on Media and Communication, as well as the Chief Postman of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In a move to beef up the Vice President's office, the Chairman of the National Economic Council, President Bola, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, approved the appointment of new ADs to Vice President Alami Kashim Shotima. All the appointees, including the three colonists from the Daily Trust newspaper's table, are eroded, consummate, and so pricing colonials. Their incentives and analysis about the political and economic dynamics of Nigeria is simply captivating. In his appointment, Owen Nezi Shifchan comments Tinubu VP Shetima. Um, moving forward on Fresh Lights this morning, we will be picking another newspaper. We are moving to the Nation newspaper. On the National Newspaper front page, we have Shaibu's office as government office reallocated. On page 5 captured this particular story. I'm sorry, the governor begs boss. And this, you can also find this on page 5 on, on the National Newspaper this morning. 22 lawmakers OK move to impeach on the deputy governor. Page 25 captured this story bank raises 30 billion naira from subsidy for subsidy pain of palliatives you can find this on page seven on the nation newspaper away from that shagamu police arrest ogun lawmakers six others page 25 also captured this story former governors firms other loose choice land in abuja obi agabi darie imoke udoma banks construction firms others on the list you can find this on the nation newspaper and away from that umba floors a delga to retain seat in inugu as governor you can find this on page six on the nation newspaper picking the bold headline tinubu was nigerians in u.s to invest back home uh, overcome setbacks adopt new mindset president advises you can find this on the nation newspaper this morning 
India suspends visa to Canadians. Oh, you can also find this on page five on the Nation newspaper this morning. And away from that, Bazoom at FOS court to free him. Oh, you can find this on page five also on the Nation newspaper. Poland opposes Germany on UN Security Council seats. You can also find this particular story on the Nation newspaper. Sol Soludo ends fees in Anabra school. Uh, you can find this good news on the uh, page 25 on the nation newspaper lastly on the nation newspaper this morning senate seeks justice for mobad as uh, you can find this on page 31 on the nation newspaper this morning all of these and many more stories you find on the nation newspaper going into the details the first one of the nation newspaper this morning shrimps government's house office relocated the government house office of Edo Deputy Governor Philip Shuhaibu now has a new tenant. Contrary to the claim that he was moved from the office to pave the way for its renovation, Shuhaibu's former office now serves as secretariat to the annual Alabo Daro Summit. Alaho Daro in Benin, catch place meaning progress or moving forward, is an investment drive by the state government initiated by the Obaseki. The, re the reallocation of facility, of facility became public yesterday, a day the embattled deputy governor begged his boss, Goswin Obasaki, for forgiveness and reconciliation. According to, according to his September 18 memo signed by the nation, Obasaki directed the secretary to the state government, the SSD, or Saudi Oge, to immediately allocate, allocate Shrive's office building to trustee of Alagbo Daru summit as their secretariat. The development contravened Obaseki's earlier claim that the one-story building was scheduled for renovation. It was gathered that the chairman of Alagbo Daru, through its secretary, had written to Obaseki for a permanent se secretariat to aid planning and logistics for this year's summit in the second week of November. Shuaib's government house office relocated. The nation newspaper. Uh, still on the nation newspaper, U.S. court stays order for release of Tinubu's academic records. The United States District Court for Northern Linus, uh, Linus Eastern Div Division have stayed compliant with all deadlines contained in the ruling by Magistrate Jeffrey Gilbert during the Chicago State University to, within two days, release President Bola Tinubu's academic record to the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the last pres presidential election, Atiku Abubakar. The court in proceeding conduct via a video conference on September 21st order that this state shall remain in force pending its ruling on the objection to the file uh, to be filed by intervener in the case brought against the CSU by Atiku. In, not in a notification of docket entry, issued by the court clerk on September 21st, it is said it will decide on the intervenors' arguments uh, regarding the appro appropriate standard of review for magistrates, George Gilbert, others when ruling on investor uh, for uh, coming objection. In the court document, which also contains a schedule of many parties that fight to their processes in relation to the intervenors' objection, the court directed that the intervener shall file his objection by 9 a.m. Central Time on September 25, following which the petitioner may file a response on September 27. To read details of this, you can pick the Nation newspaper this morning. U.S. court states orders for release of Tinobu's academic records. And lastly, on the Nation newspaper this morning, former governors fails or lose choice land in Abuja. Many prominent Nigerians, some of them former ministers, ex governors, not serving senators, top, co top politicians, and other categories of high, highly placed individuals and firms, have lost the land allocated to them in Abuja by the Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCTA. The revocation order issued through a public notice and published as advertory in this edition of the nation was done as a result of failure to develop, pro to develop property and contravention of relative law. Among those affected are ex-governors, senators, 
Leon Imoki and Joshua Dari. Imoki was crossed by state governor while Dari was served in plane two. All, also on the list of former Anthony General Federation, AGF Kano Agabi Sam and former Anabra State Governor, Governor Peter Obi. Obi was presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in February 25, 25th presidential election. Also revoked are properties allocated now deceased former public office holder, such as Lake Senator Olabi Dojai, former secretary to the government of the Federation, SDF, the late Ufot Joseph Ekaite, and the late publisher of leadership newspaper, Sam Unda, is is the Azaya. Former governors, fans, other lost choice land in Abuja, the nation newspaper. From there, we we'll go on a short commercial break. When we come back, we'll give you details on the Vanguard newspaper and the Punch newspaper. Do stay with us. Thousands have been disappointed severely in their bid to see greener pasture abroad. To those who work in the traveling agency business, it is a rocket science. That is not our case at Tau South Travels and Talk. We have in-depth details on how to successfully, without stress, help you process and secure your visa to anywhere in the world. Do you want permanent residential visa, visiting and tourism visa, student visa to places like Europe, America, Asia, Africa? It's no big deal to us at Tau South Travels and Talk. Our years of experience and expertise speaks volume for us. Let's process and secure visa for you to UK, USA and Canada within a twinkle of an eye. We offer Aj and Umrah services to our Muslim faithfuls. What are you waiting for? Consult us at number 9, Tau South Central Mall, Sholanke Street, behind Laroy Hotel, Abiolawe, Abiolkita. 0802-733-0900 or 0806-578- 4060. Stop wasting money. Pay for peace of mind. Talk to Taos of Travels and Bugwa lafe tu bayi to fe go shoyi shoge tu pagba mu lo nko jalo si House of Ziona. House of Ziona. The name I know when we talk of top notch fashion, quality materials and class. House of Ziona. Let him ma rojulo wo toki wears. Egypt and Malaysia clothing. Dubai. I want designer bags. No rishi rishi. I want itele bata. So you not in one forward original she. I want go kajor. So nka wakat your jaw. Designer sunglasses and perfumes. But ru a want go boom kan. So be real siko fin ba fe lo ba. Ha ha. Debe, Ojo me nse kami 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 emi ni ora emi ni omu gbo eyin musulumi elesin te gboge gbo npa fashion te wa ni lo jalabia ijab ati abaya lori sirisi house of ziana le o ti ri gbo era house of ziana wa ni 52 olorun osogo ro aja saint redeem church agape parish olorun osogo abe okuta lori instagram house of ziana 08165688618 house of ziana ile itaja ta tin toju lo wa so ati nkan asara loge tin gbe ni ni yi Welcome back and guys to know you are still there. See fresh light this morning on Al Iyamoye TV and Radio. This is where we get to check national dailies. Uh, we've gone through the national newspaper, the Daily Sun newspaper. Now we are moving to the Vanguard newspaper. On Vanguard newspaper this morning, we have Nigerian trade with Africa up to 40.8% to 1.84 trillion naira. Page 19 captured this story shaibu apologizes to obaseki overfilled seeks forgiveness on page 10 captured this story non-development obi bua julius baga agabi over others lose abuja lands as wiki revokes 167 plots page 4 captured this story tinubu to un i fought for democracy determined to prove it can provide development you can find this story on page 9 on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Uh, picking the bold headline, Fresh Strike Looms as NLC Ultimatum Expires Today. You can find this on page 5 on the Vanguard newspaper. NLC leaders meet next week as FG gets desperate to avert action uh, from the Vanguard newspaper. Police exhume Moba's body 
conduct autopsy. You can also find this on page six on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Again, government murder ASP inspector in Enugu police patrol ambush. You can find this on page eleven on the Vanguard newspaper. On poor economic uh, insecurity worrisome. Muslim leaders. This is coming from the Muslim leaders. Page four captured this particular story. Trivial cases like twelve bond goats were brought to Supreme Court. Justice Augie says you can find this on page nine on the Vanguard newspaper. Kidnaps corpse members. We are making effort to rescue remaining five. Uh, DG. This is coming from Director General of NYSC. You can find this on page six. On the Vanguard newspaper this morning. On the sports column, we have FIFA ranking Super Eagles drop one step now 40th. Uh, you can find this on page 31 on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. All of these are many more stories you find on the Vanguard newspaper. Going into the details. The first story on the Vanguard newspaper this morning fresh strike loans as NLC's ultimatum expires today. As the ultimatum by the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, to the federal government to address the mass suffering and pain occasioned by the removal subsidy of petrol expired today. The leadership of the Congress will meet next week to decide when to begin an indefinite nationwide strike. But the Vanguard gathered that the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetima, has been meeting with some members of the government team on how to avert the strike. It was also gathered that the Minister of Finance, Wale Edu, and Minister of Labor and Employment, Sam Simon Lamong, alongside the Vice President, are putting together a package, including wage award, to be presented to the NLC leadership. Fresh strike loops as NLC ultimatum expires today. Still on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. Still on the Vanguard newspaper this morning. We say uh, uh, Osho D, a Papa grid, grid lock, old Lagos, Lagos State Government, police order responsible, PSTT. The, the port standing tax team, PSTT, a presidential committee, committee set up by the presidency to clear the port access road, as accused Lagos State Government, the operator of call up system, TP, TTP, Lagos State Traffic Management. My agency, Lassima, and the police ordered an order preventing it from clearing Oshodi, my 12 inward think can gridlock. Checked by Vanguard, which were corroborated by cases in the area, showed that there are no fewer than 58 extortion points manned, manned by the police, parked and garages, economic, Odudua boys, legal state traffic management agency, Lassima. Marine, maritime workers, a papa LGA, and area boys, among others. According to Vanguard investigation published on Wednesday, going inward tinkers along the expressway, there are 25 extortion points where each truck drive pay 61,000. Onward tinker, there are 12 extortion points and a fee of 25,000 naira in a papa corridor. There are 19 points and a total of 52,000 naira. Osho, the Apapa Grillock, Old Lagos State Police Order Responsible, PSTT, the Vanguard newspaper. Uh, so on the Vanguard newspaper, and coming back to Ogun State this morning, Shagam court killings, arrest of Ogun lawmaker by DSS Political. Uh, this is coming from the PDP. Oh, the Ogun State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has described the arrest of member representing Shagam One State uh, constituency at the State House of Assembly, Damila Rebelo, by operatives of the Department of State Services. As political, the party described the arrest of Belo as an orchestrated attempt to kill the lawmaker a bad name just to hang him. This was contained in a statement issued by its publicity secretary, Akinloye Bankole, and made available to newsmen in Abel Kuta. It will be recalled that Belo was arrested by operative of DSS on Wednesday over his alleged involvement in recent court clash in Shagamu, where no fewer than 20 persons were killed. Belo was arrested for allegedly providing shelter to the fleeing courtists 
It's a team of security operative in a sting operation after a tip of arrested Belo and six others at his residence. Those arrested, according to the source, include Damilare Belo, Mohammed, aka Dread, uh, Debo, Anima Shaun, Bamidele Said, Ismaila Onitire, Adewale Otesonya, and Toby Owuade. Uh, the PDP stated a uh, statement read as much as we do not object to DSS or any security agency investigation into the Shagam carnage, which has allegedly claimed more than 25 lives. We think that the investigation is not being conducted with the optimal professionalism and sincerity. It is also interesting that the Shagam residence of the Honorable Member was thoroughly vandalized earlier today by some suspected APC enabled thugs. To read more of this, you can pick Vanguard newspaper this morning. Shagam caught killings, arrest of Ogun lawmaker by DSS political uh, PDP says. Avangard is where we move to the last newspaper today on Fred Catalan Yahweh TV and video of the Punch newspaper. Academic record delay, uh, delay articles request. Tinubu tells US court. Legal team seeks review of ruling ex VP's age alleged cover ups. Currency, so currency in circulation rise to 27 trillion naira, CBN reports. You can stay or you can also say I remain loyal, forgive me, Shuaibu begs Obaseki. Court clashes relocate to Sagamu, Abio don't tell security aid. Consumer alleged sabotage as bridge collapses was in outrage. You can also see boldly a bold headline on the front the punch list this morning. FG may pay 1.68 trillion naira for a subsidy. Marketer forecast 900 naira per liter for a petrol. Fuel price to rise again as Naira nears 1,000 Naira. Crude oil, crude oil eat $95. If man wants, operator commends government for subsidy proposal. CSOs oppose French subsidy. Pathologists conclude autopsy on mobile cops. Police await results. All these are more of this you see on the front line of the punch newspaper. Going into the details this morning. All right, speaking my first story on the Punch newspaper, I uh, will be going to, uh, I'll be taking a trip to Lagos State this morning, uh, still on Mobad case. On Mobad, sympathizers dispersed with tear gas at Lekki Toll Gate. Protesters and fans of the late Nigerian singer Ilerio Lua Aloba, popularly known as Mobad, were on Thursday night allegedly dispersed with tear gas at the Lucky to get Lagos. The protester held a candlelight procession in honor of the late singer on Thursday evening uh, while announcing the protest on Monday night via the official ex handle of the deceased. Uh, the management said it did appreciate the aspiring of love from fans across the world to the ones who'd, uh, who'd organized events in their communities as well to honor and pay respect to our shining lights we say thank you join us for mobile candlelight procession and tribute concert uh, he said and i quote the protesters were dressed in white t-shirts played and danced to the songs of the late artist as part of their last respect and tribute however it was in a video seen by the correspondent from a popular skit maker olua dollars claimed we've been dispersed with tear gas uh, explaining further, another lady said we were sitting in front of the toll gate. We had a lot of police officers there. So where the tear gas came from, we don't see it. We just saw the tear gas from the back. No car could move. It was this cab that helped us. Uh, to read details of this, you can pick punch newspaper this morning. On mobile's death, sympathizer dispersed with tear gas at Lekki Gate. Punch newspaper punches it out this morning. I'll stay on the punch newspaper. FG may pay 1.68 trillion naira for a subsidy. Marketer forecasts 900 naira per liter. The federal government may, so, may spend about 1.68 trillion naira as subsidy on premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, from September to December this year. An analyst of data provided by all marketers and the sector assumed pms the last state on thursday that the pump price of petroleum should be between 
890 Naira to 900 Naira per liter based on the fall of Naira against the United States dollar and the surge in the price of crude oil in the international market. Petrol, petrol currency currently sells at between 598 to 617 Naira depending on the location of purchase, fueling the suspic suspicion that the commodity is being subsidized by the federal government. The government and NFPC has not officially admitted that subsidy on petrol has been reintroduced. President Bola Tinobu had on May 20, 29th announced the end, announced ended the subsidy regime during his inaugural address. FG may pay 1.68 trillion naira for a subsidy. Marketers forecast 900 naira per liter. Still on the punch newspaper, and right now I'm taking my trip to Kano State. NNPP blames Kwankwanso as tribunal sacks Kano governor. Uh, the new Nigerian People's Party has blamed a former presidential candidate of the party, Rabi Kwankwanso, of being responsible for the loss of Kano's governor, Yusuf Aba, at the state governorship election petition tribunal. The party insisted that Kwan Kwanso allegedly sold out NNPP to the ruling of all progressive congress in order to negotiate for a ministerial list in the President Tinubu led government. The Kano State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal had on Wednesday sacked Aba declared the APC candidate Nasiru Gawuna a winner of the March 8th governorship poll. The three-man panel led by Justice Oriyemi Akitan Osadibe uh, further withdrew the certificate of return the Independent National Electoral Commission presented to Yusuf, stating reasons why the Kano governor was sacked. The panel said the margin of votes called by NNP, NNPP was invalid and not in compliance with the 2022 Electoral Act. The judges deducted 165,663 uh, votes from the NNPP, adding that the ballot box of the 165,663 were not stamped or signed and therefore declared invalid. Our uh, own Nile Wura stressed that the former NNPP flag bearers allegedly involvement in anti party activities led to the big loss the party is facing the declaration of the tribunal in Kano. Uh, to read details of this, you can pick Punch newspaper this morning. NNPP blames Kwan Kwaso as tribunal sacks go Kano's governor. Our last day on the Punch newspaper this morning, sport, uh, sports column. Eagles dropped to 40th in FIFA ranking. Despite the resounding victory in their last game of the 2023 African Cup of Nations qualifiers and their only game since the last FIFA World Ranking in June, Nigeria dropped a place in the latest FIFA men's rank for June. The Super Eagles, who were, who were ranked 39th in the ranking released in June, lost three points and dropped to 40th. The Eagles defeated South Tomin and Principe 6 0 in the last game of the Afri African qualifiers, but the result turned out not to, be, not to have any positive effect on their position on the ranking table. Eagles, drops, Eagles dropped to 40 in favor of ranking the punch sports column this morning. And that is where we drop the curtains this morning on Fresh Light on Aliyama TV and Radio. Do you join us tomorrow for another episode of Fresh Light on Aliyama TV and Radio? I'm Shawani Moshe. And I am Riscott Suleiman. Have a fulfilling day. <laughs>